So at Ryan DJ Gillian, Gillian, not sure if I pronounced that right, asks, is it ever too late to fix headroom issues in a mix? So if the headroom issues are recorded, if, if they happen when you're recording, if the recording is distorted, over compressed, clipped in some way, then it's very difficult to remove that once it's actually baked into the recording. But if the, the headroom issues are actually in the mix itself, then no, of course, it's never too late. Um, as annoying as it can be to sometimes have to go back and undo a lot of what you've already done, it's always going to be better to fix things upstream. So if you are arriving at the end of your mix and you realize you're just hitting a wall as far as headroom is concerned, it's always going to be better to go back lower the levels of your tracks even if it means you're you're gonna have to reset your compressors a little bit or your saturation plugins anything like that uh, you're always going to get better results fixing it at the source rather than trying to somehow you know add more plugins or do some weird gymnastics to try and undo the results of, of what's happening uh, but that said are you sure it's a headroom problem? That's the other thing. Like I know gain staging, there's a lot of numbers thrown around. There's a lot of kind of like, uh, oh, you gotta hit minus 10 or minus six or minus 18 or this or that. Those are all good practical rules of thumb. Uh, they'll help, certainly help you navigate uh, through any mix, but they're not, codified laws. It doesn't really matter. If you're not hearing a problem, there probably isn't a problem. So if you're actually getting to the end of your mix and it sounds distorted or clipped or fatiguing, then yeah, you're probably hitting all your plugins too hard. You should go back to the beginning. You should, you know, reset your levels and, and try again. Uh, but if you're getting to the end of your mix and everything's sounding great to you, but the meters are all in the red, trust your ears more than the meters. Like some styles of music, some things, you know, they don't have to follow the rules to that extent. Depends if you're hearing the problem or if you're seeing the problem. If you're hearing the problem, fix it. If you're seeing the problem but not hearing it, it's not a problem. Hey everyone, I'm Al Eastler, Senior Audio Engineer here at Lander. If you like this video or any of the other videos on this channel, consider liking and subscribing. If you need help with your mix, leave a question or comment below and either myself or one of our other audio engineers will answer it. Thanks for watching.